we can develop a simple HTTP server using the HTTP listener class. <coughs> Working with this class, we can develop more than a few applications on the same computer listening to the same port, only with a different address prefix. This is possible because the HTTP listener class uses the HTTP server API, an API available since Windows XP. That API allows more than one application to listen to the same port number on the same PC, on the same machine, as long as each one of them has a different address prefix. Referring the prefix property of the HTTP listener object, we can call the add method in order to set specify the exact URL address our server will listen to. Calling the method start starts the server. Calling the get context method on our HTTP listener object pause the thread which is now waiting for a request, a request that should come from a client, a request to connect. When a request arrives, the thread continues. And here we can see how we calculate the length of the reply this specific server is going to uh, send. The reply will be this simple text. The length is assigned to the content length, length 64 property of the response property of the HTTP listener context object we get when calling the get context method on the HTTP listener object we are working with. Referring the status code property of the response property of the HTTP listener context we have, we can assign the code, the status code we want to be returned. We want our server to return. Here, referring to the response property of the HTTP listener context object, we can refer to the output stream property and get a stream object we can later connect to a stream writer object and once we have the stream writer object we can call the write method on it in order to send back the textual message we want our server to return. Here we have an infinite loop, meaning the server will be able to handle a subsequent request arriving at the same URL address. The server, server will reply to each one of these requests the same text. Let's see how does it work. We first need to start running the server. Once the server is up and running, we can now try to send a request to that server. Since we are dealing with an HTTP server, the request can come from a browser. Let's go to a browser and enter the URL address that should indirectly cause a request to the server we have just developed, a server that is now up and running. And here we get the reply back to the browser. We can continue and do the same, etc. If we check the command line, we can see how it responds each time a request arrives. We can try again and see again how uh, each time the server accepts the request and sends back this specific text.